The Lunar Park Smiling Face welcomes over one million visitors to Sydney every single year. We're a, a historic heritage amusement park, but we're also a major function centre, we're an event space, and we have a whole host of other activities going on. We began looking at energy efficiency and specifically lighting efficiency upgrades because we were faced with hefty and escalating energy costs. Also, we are concerned with the sustainability. We were finding more and more that many of our clients and visitors were interested in knowing what we were doing about sustainability. So once we started looking at energy efficiency, it became apparent to us that uh, although we use energy in other forms, such as in our refrigeration and air conditioning and driving our rides, of course, that in the area of lighting, we could make some fairly immediate and transparent impacts. We spoke to the Office of Environment and Heritage and they were extremely helpful. They were able to advise us, but also to help finance a level two energy audit, which really helped us to understand where the energy was being used the most. From that, for instance, we were able to establish how much power we could save by converting some of our incandescent lighting into LED, by changing some of the strip lights uh, that we have to T5s. For instance, we changed all the car park strip lights to T5s and managed to save 34% in that area. We will also improve our position with our maintenance because so much of our maintenance time was taken with the upkeep of the lighting. As a, as a snapshot of uh, what we've achieved financially through these lighting and energy upgrades, we have spent approximately $750,000 on energy saving lighting upgrades. And as a result of that, we believe we're saving around $250,000 per year. Over a 10 year period, we believe we will reduce our energy consumption by around 2,500 megawatt hours and avoid about 2,600 tonnes of carbon equivalent emissions.